Hey everyone, this is Tim from Your Sick Studios. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to add text to a video clip in Share Factory on your PlayStation 5. And this is just a free video editor that you can upload clips to YouTube with. So I'm going to add it to this clip right here. So you can just find a clip that you want to add it to. And then go over the clip and press square. Now we want to go on over to where it says Edit Overlays. And then press X. And then we can go on down to text right here. Then we go to standard text or shooter sketch style text, whatever. Let's go to standard text. And then we can choose a text under here. And we can scroll on down. There's a bunch of different fonts. So let's just choose a font. So let's just go to this one. Now we can add the text. So let's do like uh, keep shooting or something like that. And then press R2 and done. And then we can do the duration. Let's just do like uh, three seconds would be fine. And then we can transform it. We can move it to a different position. We can press R1 to make it bigger or L1 to make it smaller. So let's go a little bit bigger. Let's put it right there. And then press X. And then we can change the color too. If we want to make it a little bit less apparent, where it just kind of blends in the background, we can do that right here. Opacity. And then we got color. We can change the color of the font. So we can make it yellow. Then we got text effects. So sometimes, you know, I'll just completely change the font to this. So I like the outlines for this. We can go through here. You can see there's just like a standard white and black outline. Or we have more metallic ones. So like, uh, I don't know, like this one would probably be my favorite, just the black outline. Then we got text animation. We can do it at the beginning, the end, and the middle. We can do fly in. We got the middle animation. We got uh, rainbow colors or a drift. Let's do a pulse and then ending animation, uh, fly out. So that's what it's going to look like. All right, so let's confirm it. Back out. Then we got text duration right here. Uh, which is good, just going to be like three seconds long. We can edit the text if we want to change what's in it. Uh, we can delete the text or we can change the order. So we have multiple different overlays on here. We can keep the text on top. So just rotate that up to the top with R1. If that's on the bottom, well, other overlays that you have on the screen are going to take up um, the screen over the text. So let's just go to it now and play it. That's what it's going to look like. <laughs> Looks like it got rid of my text effect down there. It just doesn't have the outline. So I might want to make that a little bit longer because I don't really see the entire animation. So let's go back to edit overlay. Then press square again. Then we go to text animations. Uh, otherwise, let's just do duration. Let's make the duration longer. All right, boom, duration's longer. And uh, let's go back to text effect. And apply this. So is that going to actually apply now? Press X to confirm. Confirm. And we can back up. Yep. You can see the outline is black around the letters now. So let's play it. Keep shooting. And then boom, it flies out. So it's very easy to add that. Now you could literally just go to here and uh, go to add overlay too. You don't need to go to edit overlay. So this will just bypass that. I just usually just go to edit overlay. But we can add another text to it. Let's do, um, uh, yes, I don't know. Let's just randomly type something in. All right, we got this in here, and we can transform this. We can put this text somewhere else, maybe in the bottom corner. And we can do another uh, a factor or something like that for the animation. Uh, is there one that just spins? <laughs> All right, let's put it in the bottom right. And we can transform it. All right, we did that. And here's the layer or. So you see, I have two different uh, texts on here. So if I want to have something above it, I have to press R1 and rotate it above or below. Otherwise, you're not going to see it. So just make sure you have it in the correct spot. So let's play this. So you can see the yes text is appearing on the top when it pops in. So just mess around um, with the text effects on each different clip. 
and you can make some cool stuff with it. I like using text in here. Uh, if you're going to be making a thumbnail or something, you can add text directly to this. And then uh, what you can do is just go to generate thumbnail right here. That'll be your thumbnail to upload to YouTube. So it says keep shooting. Yes. Right there. So whatever slide you're at specifically. Um, another thing that you could do is back out to the video editor. Oh, crap. I didn't want to render that. So let's back out. Let's go to save project. And uh, exit without saving now since it just saved it. We can go to the photo editor. So here's an example like this. Um, how to get kills. It looks like I deleted the background. But whatever um, picture you have in uh, your timeline and you go to generate thumbnail is going to be the one that's going to show up as your thumbnail on YouTube. So let me just choose a screenshot and I'll render this real quick. Uh, so I don't know. Let's do something like uh, how to get kills. That one in the background. All right. Let's confirm it and then save it. And then I'm going to go back to my video editor. And then I'm going to upload this one. So let's go to save project and exit. Perfect. Then let's go back over to my video editor, my last project. So this is important too. You can add this somewhere on your timeline. Let's just go to the front now and go to add screenshot. And here it is. This one I just kind of made. How to get kills. So you can use the photo editor and then add the photo to your video timeline. And then press options on it and then go to generate thumbnail. Now when you upload this to YouTube, this will be your thumbnail. Now after you generate the thumbnail, what you can do is simply delete this. So we can just go to delete clip. And that's going to be gone. But when I upload to YouTube, it should still be there. But hopefully this quick little video did indeed help you guys out. Did uh, leave it a big thumbs up and subscribe my channel down below for more tech out videos coming up next on your six studios. And if you want more tutorials on Share Factory, go ahead and look uh, for one of my playlists. But 